They may look the same, but these wheels are very different. Let me tell you why. What's up guys, RC Seneca here back with another video and today we're going to be going over foams. This right here is the standard foam that you would typically see in a class 1, nothing too crazy here. Nice and squishy for your tire, again, none too crazy. But let me show you something real quick in the one on the right. Seems very unassuming, right? Bam! Look at this thing. This is coming from my buddies over there at Nebula RC and this is their no foam. Let's go over these today and I can compare these against that ProLine soft foam on the left. So first things first, this video is not sponsored by them. I actually purchased the set of the no foams on the right hand side. And here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the key differences that I note. Here you can definitely see the diameter is very much different. Um, actually lined up a little bit better right there. You can see where that foam on the left, that ProLine foam is very much open and it will fill that entire tire where the no foam on the right is pretty much it is what it is. And you can see on the left hand side with that foam on that ProLine class one right there, that Hyrex, you know, it's, uh, it's tall. That foam fills that tire very much so, but it's just, it's just filled. You know what I'm saying? It's like, there's not an actual structure there. It's just filled to fill all those voids. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, you can definitely see there's much more width with that no foam. Uh, that one on the left definitely has more of a, a curvature on the, on the tire itself. More realistic for sure, but we're here for performance, not necessarily realism. At least that's the deal for me. Um, I like having that wider footprint, that stronger, wider stance, and that's definitely what I can see. And again, just hitting on that fullness, you can definitely see where the pro line on the left is not as full, if you will, compared to the Nebula RC No Foam on the right. You can definitely see where that tire on the right is way bigger, but on the left hand side, kind of right here doing my best before we get on the trail to test that rigidity of the um, ProLine foam and again you can see where if anybody if ever run a ProLine Hyrax or particularly the KM3s um, it's soft it's soft and, and it moves around a lot here you can definitely see with the Nebula RC that is much more stiff than the one on the left yet to be determined it's going to be is that stiffness going to translate to more performance in regards to stiffer sidewall so you're able to side hill a lot better you're able to pick your corner you're able to cut a little bit tighter um, that's to be determined we are going to take that um, take that rig out today and, and definitely try these uh, today uh, but just want to hit on a few key points real quick before we uh, go ahead and hit those trails so one thing I call this the breakover angle right here. Um, you have breakover angle on the skid, but I also call it breakover on your actual foam itself. So you look here, I'm compressing the foam with my fingertips and you can see what it does. It's very, very soft, very, very pliable. It moves around a lot. Um, here you can definitely see if my finger was a, a notch, it would just kind of roll over. And I'm pushing on the back end of the tire because essentially when you think about it, your wheel, it's gonna wanna wrap around that obstacle and that's kind of what I'm trying to demonstrate here and trying to show the distortion of that foam typical foam you ran one you ran them all right here with the nebula RC no foam you can definitely see how these cells are definitely kind of wrapping around and it's interesting I wonder if that's gonna again translate into a way better way better feel when it comes to the trail um, this is my first time actually running those and I'm just wondering if it's actually going to roll over the obstacle um, like that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I just wanted to kind of show you guys here how that's uh, actually uh, distorting uh, in my hands. Now I knew, know there's a lot of companies making this no foam or anti foam or not foam or was kind of foam or not foam no more type inserts. This is my first time running them and truth be told, I honestly think this was a gimmick. Um, I am a ProLine guy. Um, I always run ProLine whenever I can. Class 1, I wasn't able to get any kind of ProLine Class 1 sets. I don't even think they make foam sets for Class 1, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I'm not too familiar with crawler, crawler Innovations to be able to run them. So I've always been ProLine on everything I've ran. So running this was definitely a little bit of out of the box for me. Um, but, you know, chose to give it a shot. But guys, I think that's enough of talking and trying to get all technical with it. Let's get this thing 
on our comp trail and let's see what these nebula rc no foams are all about let's see i bought these things so let's see if i'm gonna be uh sending them an email requesting uh, a refund real quick Let's check it out. All right, guys, we're here at the comp test spot. These are the Nebula RC No Foams. You can kind of see it already. Nice. All right, let's go and run them. I'm going to run this whole deal and uh, we'll see what these things got. Now, guys, it should be worth noting I'm using my Class 2 truck. I picked this particular truck because this comes in at a little bit above six pounds. It does have dig on it, and I thought this would be the most aggressive rig that I could possibly use. Uh, to really test these no foams out. So I'll go ahead and be quiet and go ahead and turn it over to myself narrating these trails. Come around here, get this thing with dig real quick. Come around like that. Okay. Lock up the rear. Pull down a little bit. Open up the rear. Come down. Nice. Nice. Don't do that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and lock up our dig again. Bring it around, open it back up. Okay, here we're gonna come out, kind of come wide a little bit. There you go. Got so front kind of carry over. Set the point. Nice. Look at that. Kind of show what these things are doing. What's that front tire? Nice. You can see just real good rigidity off the back. You know, we collapse up to that point. Still allowing the tires to do work. I like that. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it over to gate number four. Come around for gate number four. It's going to be an easy descent, nothing too crazy, but what we're going to be looking for is we've got to immediately pitch to the left or right if you're looking at this. And really see how well these tires are going to pivot because I'm actually going to lock up dig pretty quick when I come down. So, Lock up dig, drag, pivot around. I'm going to go ahead and open it back up. Come back around here. And this one's going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to go ahead and lock up dig. I'm going to come back around and see what I can possibly do with this. Look at that. Okay, again, come up, lock up big, open big, lock up big, open big. Nice. Gotta love that wheel speed, huh? Nice. Good job. We're gonna take it to gate number five. So as you can see here, I'm at gate, about to approach gate number five. Basically, I'm going to lock up dig, pitch to the right, come up from here. Nothing too crazy, just a small series of steps, but let's see what we got. Dig lock. Open it up. There you go. Yeah, I like that. Still, great rigidity on the sidewall. You can see it's not sliding down so much, which I really, really like but still allowing the tire to really do work, and I really do appreciate that. So here we're gonna get down, and I'm gonna look at gate number six. Gate number six, it's gonna be down here, a descend, so we've got a little bit of a 
kind of a drop there and then we're going to come through and actually go between these gates so a little crazy but i think we can manage so let's see what we got you can see i'm on the side right there so let's see what we can do it here nice and slow lock up big a little bit so i can pitch the right just a little more go ahead and open her up a little bit and it's going to be just like buzz lightyear said right falling with style Okay, see I'm trying to slide a little bit, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and lock up my dig and I'm going to pitch to the left. Look at that. Look at that sidewall just standing tall. Look at that. That's all the way on that foam, or the no foam rather. And that sidewall is just staying intact. I like that. Typically you'd have, I'd slide down this thing. Alright, let's keep it going. All opened up here. Still going to the left. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna hug all the way. There you go. Pull it straight. Lock up my dig. Pull it to the right. Open it up. To gate number six. Just like that. All right. I'm gonna go and switch the camera off and switch to gate number seven. Now to gate to gate number seven, which is over there, right there, <laughs> we gotta traverse through this. Very quickly, these rocks with all these voids can get your tire, no foams. For those of you who've been your tires, stop it. If you're in Texas, stop venting your tires. I'm gonna do a whole video on that. Um, but it's very easy for these uh, voids to grab that foam. Here, again, we're running the Nebula RC no foam. Let's see what it does with that. I don't know, let's see. So I'm just going to go ahead and just walk up the rock. There you go. Look at that. Drove right out of that side pit. Look at that. Driving right out of there. Not a problem. Okay. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Let me show you. Look at that. Hard. Hard on that no foam. But it's still maintaining its integrity. Okay, I'm going to come up. A little bit of drag. <laughs> a little throttle out, never hurt nobody, right? Nice. Very impressed with that. Let's go ahead and work up to gate number seven. All right, we're at gate number seven. Bit of a doozy. Again, we gotta come up to the left and climb up there. Let's see what we got. Push through, I'm gonna go ahead and lock up my gate. Open it. Lock it. Turn all the way. And open up. Come around. Hope there's no foam heat. There's no foam to eat right there. you can see here is what we didn't have before we didn't have tire wrap real bad real bad problems with tire wrap here didn't have any of that the tire stayed doing work the sidewall didn't compress and that's what you want you wanted that tire to remain completely round the entire time conform you know to a certain level and man the no foams are really doing it right there and guys you saw what i did right there i didn't reverse trust it trust going forward as a you know as opposed to taking a reverse on a, a gate but that's that's for a comp video that's a whole different other deal let's go and move over to gate number eight all right gate number eight a lot of slick rock here very very slick right here so we had too much stiffness in that tire might have a lot of slip but let's see what we got nice and slow 
There you go. Nice and slow to that. Nice and slow. Ha! Look at that. Nice and nice and cool. Just let it do its thing. Lock that dude. Open, lock it up. Okay, now we gotta come up here. Yeah, we can go gently. No foam. Look at that. Still allowing the tire to do what it needs to do. Again, class one tires, guys. Yeah. Still allowed for what the tire needs to do. Very, very good. Very, very impressed. Almost done with this course, guys. Let's keep it going. All right, gate number nine right here. We're going to come through, and there's our boundary marks. You can see here we got a lot of things that we could definitely get hung up on. But let's, uh, let's just see what we got. Yeah. Okay. No foam's going to work, allowing it to grab. Nice. Very good, very good. Okay. okay, come through, nice up and over, nice up and over, okay real quick, look at that rear tire, see on that rear tire how it continues to just, you know, keep it shaped, so it's really pushing forward while that front is uh, conforming to the rocks and allowing it to grab Guys, if you haven't seen the no foam or you seen my uh, Proline foam video, go check that out. These are class one no foams. So eventually, they're going to be getting to some medium foams here um, and definitely getting those going for us. But again, it just goes to show you roundness in the back, tires conforming up front. Trust me. So let's keep it going. Still pulling through. You would think you lost it, right? You would think you lost it, but... Let's see what no foam do. Let's see what no foam put some work in. Let's see what those no foams can do. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Guys, stay in it. Again, that's a whole different whole different topic for a whole other video. Stay in it. Look at that. Just when I thought the no foams were may have been kind of a hindrance, it kept the tire working and it got us up and through that obstacle. Very, very good. Very, very impressed. No, no time to hear anything clicking, popping, or nothing like that. The tire is allowed to stay full and get us out of a tight spot without them falling into those crevices right there. That's huge right there. Let's keep it going. Gate number 10, here we go. All right guys, gate number 10, super easy. Slick rock down to a descent and control all the way through that gate. Nice and smooth. Definitely like the way these no foams are conforming. Really liking how I was kind of concerned how that sidewall was going to do with that bulge, but I'm really, really liking the fact that my rims are staying tucked and I'm not grabbing on metal onto a slick surface. I'm very, very impressed. Very, very happy. Look at that. Just to show, look at that. It's completely on it. And you know what? I'm going to dig it for you guys. And you can see. Completely on it. Maintaining shape. I like that. Going to get out of there. Come through. You can see that rear tire. Still holding the shape, but allowing the tread to do what it needs to do. Come up and over. Come out to the right. There you go. Keep going. Okay, that momentum over. Lock up time. You can see that. 100% on it. 
I'm actually going to keep the camera on that tire as we pull through. Rear tires. Still holding through. I'm going to lock it up here. Just so you can kind of see what that front is going to do real quick. Here you can see the front fully compressed. Look at that. Get up there. <laughs> nice. Alright guys, my final thoughts on the Nebula RC No Foams. These things are absolutely phenomenal. Very, very impressed with what I see so far. I would imagine some lines that I thought that I can only make with the old foams are just not gonna matter anymore. I'm probably gonna be able to choose new lines. So just already I can see there's a little bit of a learning curve because I'm able to go up things that I never thought I could do. Um, so that's gonna help out tremendously or at least allow and give me more options to choose from should the terrain change and stuff. So huge right there. Having the ability to let that front tire or have the tires to really work and use that tread as opposed to your foam just kind of just ballooning all over the place was huge. Having these additional sidewall stiffness and having the sidewall out a little bit, keeping everything off the rim, not only just keep your wheels look good, me personally I don't care, but it's not allowing the rocks to hit the rim and using your rim as kind of a skid plate because it's just going to find the path of least resistance. Having the tire maintain its shape on the rear and again allowing the rig to push forward and using the front to pull you up that's huge that's a great that's i mean a great setup uh in regards to these tires and these foams these no foams rather very very impressed nebula rc guys check them out i'll have all the links in the description below check those guys out let them know the rc syndicate sent you guys this is not a sponsored video i purchased everything not a sponsored video i purchased everything i gotta keep throwing that out there um, i look for no handouts when it comes to parts i run them if they work great if they don't work i send them back and i don't care what feelings i hurt because i need them to work for me because i pay the price for them these things work guys check them out i'm thoroughly impressed and i can't wait to see what they're going to do for the next race coming up guys if you're new to the channel and you like what you see consider hitting the like on this video if this is something that you'd like to continue to see, maybe hit, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, I definitely appreciate the support. And guys, until the next one, y'all be safe.